The city of Atlanta is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. It has achieved a significant scale in just under 200 years and become a destination on the world stage. While other great American cities were building civic monuments, parks, and squares, Atlanta was recovering from the devastation of the Civil War, having been burned to the ashes by General Sherman. The city has now achieved a world-class civic realm with the construction of several notable facilities and public sites. There's Centennial Olympic Park, a legacy of the 1996 Olympic Games. The park's fountains are enjoyed by children from around the world. Facing the park is the Georgia Aquarium, the world's largest, holding over eight million gallons of water. Just next door is the Coca-Cola Museum. Three blocks away is Woodruff Park, a beautiful green space carved out of the heart of downtown, connecting Margaret Mitchell Square to underground Atlanta. Downtown Atlanta on Auburn Avenue is the Martin Luther King Jr. Center and Ebenezer Baptist Church. Atlanta is the birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement. Nearby is the Carter Presidential Center and Library. Midtown Atlanta boasts the Woodruff Art Center, Symphony Hall, and the Richard Meyer and Renzo Piano designed High Museum of Art. There's the 6,000 seat Fabulous Fox Theater, and at Pershing Point, the 60 foot tall World Athletes Monument designed by Anton Gleken of Russia, a gift of the Prince of Wales Foundation for Architecture. A short walk east of Midtown will take you to the grand ellipse of the Olmsted-designed Piedmont Park, a legacy of the 1895 Cotton States Exposition. The park is also the home of Atlanta's Botanical Gardens and the Fuqua Conservatory. Nearby is the Gund and Schlossberg designed Fernbank Museum of Natural History, home to the Argentinosaurus, the largest dinosaur ever. The Michael C. Carlos Museum is at Emory University, designed by Michael Graves. The Atlanta History Center, home of the Philip Schutze designed Swan House. Just east of the Atlanta perimeter, there's Stone Mountain State Park, with its Confederate memorial carved by Gutzon Borglum. And now with the dedication of the National Monuments Foundation, Millennium Gate, there is a triumphal arch featuring the monumental sculpture of Alexander Stoddart, George Kelly, and Frederick Hart, joining the pantheon of great civic gestures that adorn this metropolis. Georgia, thank you for living in my state. We are here today to dedicate the Millennium Gate. It is an 82 foot tall monumental arch based on the Arch of Titus in the Roman Forum. I bless all the races this morning. Now I gotta bless this beautiful you know, 12 years ago when we first started on the project, a lot of people said, you know, it'll never happen. And today is one of those uh, days that it all comes together. Great crowd, great people. Uh, hopefully this will be a meeting place. We've always talked about Atlantic Station being the heart of Atlanta. For the land of the free and the home of the
Uh, it's the most fantastic day. I mean, it's been a long time in the, in the, uh, in the waiting. It's eight years since 2000 when it actually, the project actually began. This was something that we couldn't have anything less than the best. And so, it's as you see from the names and the plaques all around us, uh, we have some of the greatest talent in the world. And they have really achieved what I had hoped. It's, it's an extraordinary, sublime building. And I mean, this, you know, to me, is like a little mini Arc de Triomphe. Um, I love the architecture. I love the fact that it's so statuesque. You know, I'm not from Atlanta, I'm from England, but even for me, it's, it's a great tribute to the city. And I think great to have the history of Georgia put in one space. Welcome. Welcome to the dedication of the Millennium Gate and Museum. This is the first major classical monument built in this country since the Jefferson Memorial in Washington, D.C. It is time for the citizens of Atlanta to begin to look back at their history as well as look forward. For they will see something quite extraordinary and unique to this nation. Our history is what we have tried to showcase in this building in a very new way. And it is a beautiful story within a very beautiful building. Atlanta has always been, since its inception, in the forefront of America's better spirit. And by being here today and honoring and recognizing this is indeed God's vision here on this earth and our vision for generations yet to come, we do honor not only to those who have come before us and those who have built this, but to those who come after us. So they, like we, do not forget. Rodney, this is a place of peace. This is a place of beauty. If Dr. King could speak to us today, he would say, we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters, or we are perish as fools. So when you think something that is not going right, when you think something that is out of place, out of sync, come here, come to Atlantic Station, and meditate and think hard and get your soul and mind right. Thank you for this day, Rodney. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, our home. Gate is dedicated to peaceful accomplishments that have shaped the Western world, the United States of America, and the city of Atlanta over the two millennia since the birth of Christ. A symbolic portal into the city, the ensemble refers to the Egyptian, Greek, and Roman civilizations, the foundations of Western culture. The statues of justice and peace represent Egypt and Greece, respectively. The arch represents Rome and is based on the Arch of Titus. Cities are the engines of contemporary society and citizens are obligated to the best of their abilities to make their city better than the one in which they were born. 18th century Georgia, one of the 13 original colonies, led to establish this tradition and heritage in America. Her citizens first created the sublime city of Savannah, one of the world's most extraordinary urban plans. They have also created the city of Atlanta, the capital of this region which has grown rich and powerful. We regard ourselves as a new city, but we are no longer that. In 2014, we will celebrate 200 years of settlement on the banks of the Chattahoochee River. In making any of our cities more beautiful, we nurture our children and grandchildren. We honor our ancestors, our history, and ultimately God. This we have tried to do at the Millennium Gate. The United States of America at this significant date has risen to the greatness envisioned by our founding fathers. The new world has eclipsed the old, our republic has surpassed the ancients and has established a high standard to which future cultures can aspire long after we are gone. We built this museum in the classical tradition, classicism being the architecture of democracy. In celebration, the 21st Century National Monuments Foundation, 
Her board and her patrons gift this arch to the people of Georgia and her capital, Atlanta. The Millennium Gate is built in the hopes that we may, in the words of Plato and Jefferson, become ennobled through the nurturing qualities of beautiful architecture.